Um, I'm very interested in um, learning a little bit more about um, a different country's perspective on education. It's sometimes mm -hmm. taken for granted a little bit more here, like yeah. in other countries where it's just so valuable and, and it's something that they, they really want and it's not necessarily accessible. I think it might be um, really important to know the different perspectives and um, you know see what's going on in a different part of the world. I want to see why it's so valuable because like a lot of the times you know we hear students talking you know nonsense about education why they don't like it and stuff like that but i kind of want to hear why it's so important a lot of times you don't hear about education throughout a country let alone from a woman in where in countries where education is kind of frowned upon for women so i'm interested to see what she has to say from a woman's perspective and she comes from a different environment so that's something interesting that I want to know more about, especially the behind the scenes. Like that's always the best part of the story, is like the nitty gritty personal story. So, yeah. mm, kind of excited. A major thing would be like everyday resistance, like how it's important because some people don't talk, don't speak up against things because they feel like, oh, I'm the only one, or I'm like, I don't want to be the only one speaking out. She had the courage to actually speak out against such a big issue and I think in today's society when we see something that we don't agree with or that's oppressive to a certain group of people that each individual should feel comfortable speaking out about it and to let people know that like you can do it like it you know something can happen if you speak out. I think just for awareness, um, because like with the 9-11 thing, if we're living in America, we're almost always just going to see the American side of it. But through this book, you see the other side of it because they were almost feeling the same way, but I never knew that until I read this. I think there's a lot of different topics that are explored throughout this book that a lot of people can potentially connect to. It covers... Um, topics like media, socioeconomic situations, um, the economy, family, bonds, and things like that. And I think a lot of people can potentially relate to those different topics while reading this book. This type of book, um, a story from someone like Malala, helps people, especially Americans, become more cultured if they're more aware of what's going on outside of the United States and what their perspective is on things like 9-11, for example, and and how that affected them as well. I think one of the important things about this book too is her view on the Taliban and how we generally seem to uh, think of like entire nations as being against us, but we see here this sort of perspective that she doesn't, she disagrees with the Taliban, she thinks that they're following an incorrect like way. I would recommend this because it can like relate to a lot of different people so like with the family aspect of it just like how her father was such a role model to her and like how she her courage like mirrored his courage in a way like how he went through all this and then she went through all these struggles and kept going so like the importance of family relationships and like recognizing that you can be a role model to your child or your sis sister or brother. I think overall, this book shows that with the help of others, one person can make a difference. 